Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the solution and discussion on the Engineering Service Examination Preliminary Questions in the subject Thermodynamics and we will take few questions on the irreversibility and availability and we will solve the questions. The first question, a liquid of heat capacity 5 joules per Kelvin is in an insulated container is heated electrically from 300 Kelvin to 600 Kelvin. If log n log 2 equal to 0 0.693, entropy generation of the universe would be, there are four options given, 6.93, 3.465, 34.65, 10.65 joules per Kelvin. The answer is 3.465 joules per Kelvin. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. The heat capacity MCP equal to 5 joules per Kelvin. Temperature TO equal to 300 Kelvin and T equal to 600 Kelvin. Entropy generation of the universe, it is equal to delta S universe equal to delta S system plus delta S surrounding. The change in entropy of the surrounding is zero as the system is insulated. The change in entropy of the system delta S equal to MCP in logarithmic of T by TO substituting phi into logarithmic of 600 by 300 is equal to 3.465. The entropy generation of the universe substituting in the equation this is going to be 3.465 joules per Kelvin that is the answer to the question. The second question, a reversible Carnot engine operates between 27 degrees Celsius to and, and 5527 degrees Celsius and produces 400 kilowatts of net power. The change of entropy of the working fluid during the heat addition process is, there are four options, 0 0.222 kilowatt per Kelvin, 0 0.266, 0 0.288, 0 0.299 kilowatts per Kelvin. The answer is 0 0.266 kilowatts per Kelvin. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. The efficiency of the Carnot engine eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1, which is 1 minus 300 by 1800. The temperatures are substituted in Kelvin. This is equal to 0 0.8333. Heat supplied in the Carnot engine Q equal to work done divided by the efficiency eta. So, 400 divided by 0 0.8333 equal to 480 kilowatt. The change in entropy during the heat supply, delta S equal to Q by T1, so 480 divided by 1800 equal to 0 0.266 kilowatts per Kelvin. So, that is the answer to the question. Next question, a system of 100 kilogram mass undergoes a process in which its specific entropy increases from 0 0.3 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin to 0 0.4 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. At the same time, the entropy of the surrounding decreases from 80 kJ per Kelvin to 75 kJ per Kelvin. The process is reversible and isothermal, irreversible, reversible only and isothermal. The answer is the process is irreversible. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the answer, if delta S universe is greater than 0, then the process is irreversible. So, mass equal to 100 kg. The system entropy changes from 0 0.3 kJ per kilogram Kelvin to 0 0.4 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. So, delta S equal to 0 0.1 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. Change in entropy of the system, delta S system equal to mass into delta S is equal to 100 into 0 0.1 equal to 10 kJ per Kelvin. The change in entropy of the surrounding, delta S surrounding equal to 75 minus 80 equal to minus 5 kJ per Kelvin. So, delta S of the universe equal to delta S of the system plus delta S of the surrounding. So, 10 minus 5 equal to 5. So, delta S of the universe is greater than 0. So, the process is irreversible. That is the answer to the problem. The next question, an amount of 1000 kJ of heat is added to a system during a constant pressure vaporization process at a temperature of 227 degrees Celsius. The available energy added to the system if the temperature of the surrounding is 27 degrees Celsius is, there are four options, 600 kilojoules, 500, 400 and 300 kilojoules. The answer is 400 kilojoules. We will see how in the next slide. The answer here, 
the heat transfer Q equal to 1000 kilojoules, temperature of heat addition T equal to 227 degrees Celsius which is 500 Kelvin, surrounding temperature TO equal to 27 degrees Celsius which is 300 Kelvin, unavailable energy. UE equal to TO into delta S. So, TO into delta S equal to Q by T. So, 300 into 1000 divided by 500 equal to 600 kilojoules. Available energy equal to AE equal to Q minus unavailable energy 1000 minus 600 equal to 400 kilojoules. So, the answer is 400 kilojoules. Next question, a body of mass 2 kilogram and CP equal to 1 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin is available at 600 Kelvin. If the atmosphere is 300 Kelvin and logarithmic of 2 equal to 0 0.693, the maximum work obtainable from, your from the body till it comes to the equilibrium with the atmosphere is 150 kilojoules, 142 kilojoules, 184.9, 184.2 kilojoules, 190.5 kilojoules. The answer is 184.2 kilojoules. So, we will see how in the next slide. The answer to the question, mass equal to 2 kilogram, specific heat Cp equal to 1 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, temperature T equal to 600 Kelvin, atmosphere temperature To equal to 300 Kelvin, heat transfer Q equal to Mcp into T minus To. So, 2 into 1 into 600 minus 300 equal to 600 kilojoules. The change in entropy, entropy is delta S equal to Mcp into logarithmic of T by To. So, 2 into 1 into logarithmic of 600 by 300 equal to 1.386. So, the maximum work obtainable. W equal to Q minus TO into delta S. So, 600 minus 300 into 1.386 equal to 184.2 kilojoules. That is the answer to the question. The next question, consider the following statement regarding availability. It is generally conserved. It can either be negative or positive. It is the maximum theoretical work obtainable. It can be destroyed in irreversibility. Which of the above statements are correct? So, the 3, 4 statements are correct. So, 3 is it is maximum theoretical work obtainable and it can be destroyed in the irreversibility. This is the statement, correct statement regarding the availability concept. The next question, during the during a thermodynamic process, 100 kilojoules of heat is transferred from a reservoir at 800 Kelvin to a sink at 400 Kelvin. The ambient temperature is 300 Kelvin. The loss of available energy is 27.5 kilojoules, 32.5 kilojoules, 37.5 kilojoules and 62.5 kilojoules. The answer is 37.5 kilojoules. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. The heat transfer Q equal to 100 kilojoules. The source temperature T1 equal to 800 Kelvin. The sink temperature T2 equal to 400 Kelvin. The change in entropy delta S equal to Q by T1 minus Q by T2. 100 by 400 minus 100 by 800 equal to 0 0.125. The loss of available energy equal to T naught ambient temperature into delta S which is 300 into 0 0.125 is 37.5 kilojoules. The next question, an ideal gas is flowing through a, an insulated pipe at a rate of 3.3 .3 kilogram. There is a pressure drop of 15 percent from the inlet to the outlet of the pipe. What is the rate of energy loss because of this pressure drop due to friction? Given that R equal to 0 0.287 and reference temperature TO equal to 300 Kelvin, there are four options for the answer 42.62 kilowatts, 40.26 kilowatts, 38.14 kilowatts, 35.13 kilowatts. The answer is 42.62 kilowatts. We will see how in the next slide. So, here is the answer. The energy loss due to friction is given by E equal to delta P by rho. At the entry of the pipe, rho equal to P by R into TO. So, pressure drop equal to P2 minus P1 equal to 0 0.15 percent of 15 percentage. So, 0 0.15 times of P1. The energy loss due to the friction E equal to 0 0.15 P substituting the values here in the first equation 0 0.15 P divided by P1 divided by P1 by R into TO. TO. So, rearranging R into TO into 0 0.15 P1 divided by 0 P1. So, the P and P1 P1 is getting cancelled. So, finally, R equal to 0 0.287 into 300 TO equal to 300 and uh, remaining is 0 0.15. So, calculating this is 12.915 kilojoules per kilogram. So, the total energy loss this is equal to mass into 
mass 3 into 12.915 equal to 42.62 kilojoules. Next question, for a steady flow process, the conditions at the state 1 and 2 are H1 equal to 300 kilojoules per kilogram, H2 equal to 150 kilojoules per kilogram, S1 equal to 1.25 kilojoules per, kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and ST equal to 0 0.8 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The availability at the ambient temperature 300 Kelvin will be, there are four options, 15 kilojoules, 20 kilojoules, 25 kilojoules and 35 kilojoules. The availability in the steady flow process, H1 minus H2 minus TO into S1 minus S2. So, substituting 300 minus 150 minus 300 into 1.25 minus 0 0.8 equal to 15 kilojoules. The answer is 15 kilojoules. The next question, a heat reservoir is maintained at 927 degrees Celsius. If the ambient temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, the availability of heat from the reservoir is limited to, there are four options, 57 percentage, 66 percentage, 75 percentage and 88 percentage. We calculate the answer. The maximum work obtained from the from a certain heat input in a cyclic heat engine is called as available energy. The availability of heat from the reservoir, this is 1 minus TO by T, which is 1 minus 300 by 1200 equal to 0 0.75, which is 75 percentage. So, the answer is 75 percentage. The next question, when 25 kg of water at 95 degree Celsius is mixed with the 35 kg of water at 35 degree Celsius. The pressure being taken as constant at the surrounding temp and the surrounding temperature is 15 degree Celsius and CP of water is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The decrease in available energy due to the mixing will be nearly 270.5 kilojoules, 2776 kilojoules, 281.8 kilojoules, 288.7 kilojoules. The answer is 281.8 kilojoules. So, you will see how in the next slide. So, the answer given data M1 equal to 25 kilogram, T1 equal to 95 degree Celsius, M2 equal to 35 degree kilogram and T2 equal to 35 degree Celsius, surrounding temperature TO equal to 15 degree Celsius, CP equal to 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Final temperature of the mixer. So, M1 CP into T1 minus TF equal to M2 CP into Tf minus T2. So, the heat lost by the hot fluid equal to heat gained by the cold fluid. So, the 25 substituting value 25 into 4.2 into 95 minus Tf equal to 35 into 4.2 into Tf minus 35. So, rearranging and calculating Tf equal to 60 degree Celsius which is 333 Kelvin. Now, available energy of water at 95 degree Celsius. So, Ae1 equal to Mcp into T1 minus Tv minus TO into logarithmic of T1 by TO. Substituting numerical values, AE1 equal to 25 into 4.2 into 95 minus 15 minus 288 into logarithmic of 95 plus 273 divided by 288 equal to 987.49 kilojoules. Available energy for water at 35 degrees Celsius, AE2 equal to MCP into T2 minus TO minus TO into logarithmic of T2 by TO. Substitute numerical values AE2 equal to 35 into 4.2 into 35 minus 15 minus 288 into logarithmic of 35 plus 273 divided by 288 equal to 97.9 kilojoules. The available energy for the mixer at 60 degree Celsius, so AE3 equal to MCP into TF minus TO minus TO into logarithmic of TF by TO. Substituting the values AE3 equal to 60 into 4.2 into 60 minus 15 minus 288 into logarithmic of 60 plus 273 divided by 288 equal to 803.27 kilojoules. The decrease in available energy AE1 plus AE2 minus AE3 substituting 987.49 plus 97.9 minus 803.27 equal to 282.12 kilojoules. That is the answer to the question. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I uploaded you video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You can refer to the uh, channel, subscribe the channel, use the video lectures for your better preparation. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. Uh, you can contact me for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again in another video lecture on the engineering service examination question paper. Until then, bye.